All right, I've got a low-end, low-budget job here. I'm just going to make some potato chip racks. I'm making six of these, so it's not a very big order, but they're all the same and just painted black with wheels. So there's four shelves, and these three trays on top have wire bottoms. And the company likes the wire bottoms because as product gets taken off the top shelves, light comes through to expose the product underneath. So the potato chip bags are less likely to get buried and become not visible there. So it helps them display the product, and I don't really like working with that wire. That's pretty unruly stuff, but it's what they want, and I'm just going to try to get this done. I'm not using expensive lumber. I've got some of the cheapest wood that I can buy. This is just utility grade 1 by 8 by 8 foot boards at Home Depot. I paid $3.84. They're not very dry and it's difficult wood to work with. But these trays aren't very big and it doesn't have to look perfect. So the cheaper the wood that I can use, the, the, the better. It just has to hold up potato chips.
Okay, so here is my step list timesheet thing in my spreadsheet. So I itemized all the steps, and column B is the time I measured. And for some of them, I, I measured just one part of the process. It just depends on how the video editing worked out. So for some of them, I did for all six racks and then for some of the steps I just calculated the time for one individual rack um, and that's because I didn't take video of the entire process uh, for each step so I use that data to calculate the time for each rack in column D and that's the data that I graphed I also did an estimate for my setup and cleanup time and I didn't actually measure this column F this is just an estimation based on what I remember doing at the time um, so some of the steps take longer to set up or clean up and most of the steps I just need a minute to make a test cut and double check measurements So I add up all of the values in column D to get this result, which is the time I spent on each rack. But this value does not include the setup time factor. I left that separate. And this is a variable depending on this quantity, how much I'm doing in my production run. So I calculated a value that factored in the setup time and that's the value I get here um, but as I'm adding more and more to this quantity that setup time gets divided into smaller and smaller sections and has less of a factor so that's why it's a variable so I, I plot both of these values just to compare like the range of what I would expect to get um, but I just want to make a note also that this value does not include a bunch of stuff including my design time and the planning time in between steps because this was a prototype rack and I built things that were similar but I did a lot of things differently so in this production run there was a lot of hesitation in between steps and I probably spent at least a few hours uh, in the design process before I started and I didn't factor that into this estimation so the realistic number would probably be in the fifty or sixty dollar an hour range when I factor in all of the prototyping and uh, that sort of design planning uh, it's hard to determine what that value is but if I'm gonna do this design again that won't that won't be much of a factor so I'm just gonna show my graphs so you can see how this these values compare
успехов!